I just got this Lenovo Legion i7 12700K processor and I'm unboxing it now. I've been waiting for this for a while. with the keyboard and the mouse and cables and instruction books A lot of people aren't impressed with these keyboards, but I don't mind it. It's nice and thin and it looks good. Put it on its side to open it. So this is the Lenovo Legion i7. Looks good. I can't wait to set it up. I plan on dual booting this with Linux. I have a separate hard drive to put that on already. And there we have it. I'm going to start setting it up. So I've got the side panels off. I put a new hard drive in there in the bottom. Here's the one that comes with the Legion.
I put a hard drive right there, a two terabyte. It has space for one there. Looks good. So I installed Linux Mint on my new computer, and it took like five minutes, not even. What a quick installation. So I've had this computer for a while now, and... I made a mistake on the model number when I first opened it. I It was advertised as a Lenovo Legion Tower 7 i7, but it's actually a Lenovo Legion Tower 5i. I have the specs. I'll put them on the screen when I, when I show you uh, how it's running. I, uh, since I bought it, I, I, ordered some RAM. I ordered 128 gigs of RAM, uh, 4800 megahertz. Uh, I'm going to put that in today. Uh, also, when I ordered the computer, I ordered this Kinhank hard drive. It's got a bunch of games on it, and I'll show you that as well. So, I'm going to open up the RAM. Corsair Vengeance DDR5 Now to open it up upside down Hard to reach that. Not a lot of room to work with. Click.
I'm quite enjoying this computer so far. I haven't had any problems with it yet. It runs very fast, even without installing the RAM. And it looks like it's installed. Looks a lot nicer than the stuff that came with the factory. It's still the same speed of RAM. I didn't upgrade the speed. Well, there we have it. I'm going to start it up and see how it works. Well, I started it up. It took a little while for it to boot up after installing the RAM. Uh, but it's registering 128 gigs of RAM. It's a 12th gen Intel Core i7-12700 at 2.1 gigahertz. This is from the website, the MDG website. I purchased it through them and they advertised it as a Lenovo Legion i7 and it's actually a 5i. So uh, that was kind of my mistake, but their mistake as well. They advertised it wrong. Uh, it came with 16 gigs of RAM. I upgraded it to 128. And it's good. I don't know. I haven't done any benchmark testing or anything like that, but that's how it's going. It's working pretty well. I have everything set up for the most part. So now Let's restart this and check the BIOS. So now I'm going to boot into Linux. It says Ubuntu, but it's actually Linux Mint. It boots pretty fast. When I go between Linux 
and windows I notice that the time changes and it I have to synchronize it especially in Windows Linux does it automatically but Windows takes a while so this is Linux Mint running on my new Lenovo Legion um, shows 125 gigs of RAM Now I'm going to start up the Kinhank portable hard drive. This has all my games on it. The Kinhank hard drive has the Batocera Linux operating system on it and it's for gaming. It's got a lot of games on it. They say a over a hundred thousand but there's a lot of duplicates in there. We've got Nintendo, Magnavox, Open Bar, PC Engine. Some of them don't have very many games on them, but PlayStation 2 has over 215 games. PlayStation 1 has over 1400. PSP has 425. Like there's there's a lot of games in here. original Xbox. I only have a couple of games on there. Eventually I would like to upgrade the hard drive so I can put more more games into it. This hard drive is absolutely packed. It's full. I can't put any more games on it. This is the Alec full skin for Batocera. You can download different themes for this. A 
where is it? Uh, the all games category should say how many in total. But you can see in in a lot of these selections, they have doubles and triples of the same game. Oh, I can't find the all games. There it is. 100,004 games. I played a little bit with this. I played some God of War already and some Mario and things like that. It's really cool. So yeah, this is my Lenovo Legion computer and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, a little disappointed that it's not an i7 or yeah an i7 because an i7 is a bigger case than the 5i and it has more storage options. But it's still a good computer. I quite like it. The specs on it are quite high compared to what I've had before so this is a huge upgrade for me. The RTX 3060 from NVIDIA is it's very good for these games. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you some other time. Thank you.